The first thing that hits your eyes is the colors and then the lines. It's really a bricolage that comes from my experience of being here in the Philippines um, and in my neighborhood. It's like uh, I noticed this bricolage of different colors as you go to the market and then Divisoria, you know, these um, little things like um, overcrowded with the consumer goods that from our supermarkets to Sarasari stores to the jeepneys. These are colors that we see everywhere and then the ukay ukay fabrics the patterns um, and when you go to the province the textiles the fruits everything seems to grow you know in, a, in, in, in this because tropical is is lush you know there's a, a lot of fecundity when it comes to it. when you say tropical there's uh, too muchness you know and when you say too much there's also a lot of life that happens and when you have life there's drama and then you know we're, we're living in that soup that kind of miasma of uh, melodrama which is particularly you know Filipino I think and particularly I think inside of me and uh, that was wanting to be you know um, expressed through these um, recent self-portraits. I think to depict the tropical or to depict where we're coming from now, here and now, 2019, we don't, we don't belong to that tropical dream of, you know, just an island paradise. We are living in, in a contemporary planet that has to do with the tropical means concrete and palm trees, you know. We talk about plastic, we talk about, you know, production in, in factories that we don't know where that produces, you know, things that don't die, like, you know, artificial um, plants as it depicted in these pictures. But what I meant to highlight also is that what is natural is not uh, impervious to the artificial and vice versa. The images don't mean to patronize, you know, the natural to be, to be the, the natural state. Of, our, of life these days. So there's a confrontation. Every, every, every photograph in their silence and their stillness has a lot to do with conflict also. Like there's some conflicting things going on in the picture, the, the, the natural and the artificial, and also of self. How much of self is authentic in a self-portrait? And how much how is, is to be fake bad? If, if there is a sincerity, or, or how do you call it, like, if you decide to encase it in, in fiction, are you making it real? This, um, this ambiguous and fake. So uh, there was this phrase that I read, uh, genuine fakes. It's something to think about, I think, especially when it comes to the self, because the self is not just one um, static, um, being, but it's fluid and it's continuously changing and it's plural and it could assume um, in a person that has lived in the Philippines and has assumed different places and has taken it back. My life is a book that I write for myself and, and every page is, you know, written by me and I guess the external factors that make it and it's filled with colors and filled with life and, and little deaths as you can see in here and then um, there's a structure in the middle and then there's there's a lot to read I think that's what's nice about uh, using elements in this format in the tableau format because it's not just one thing you know it's not about like uh, illustrating what it is it's, it's a multitude of doors that you could enter. There's not one meaning. But for me, I wanted it to, to mark, to mark a certain uh, period in my life as an artist and as a person, as a female, as a Filipina, as Asian, as, yeah, a human. <laughs> Thank you.
There's life that happens, you know, for all of us. That is, every day we're dying a little bit, you know, and with the state of the planet, I mean, it, it also has a little bit of that in there too, right? So, yeah, it's, that's the beautiful thing about art. We could talk about these things that, you know, you know, makes us, um, you know, lose sleep at night or, you know, talk to, you know, like uh, the bigger questions that we want to ask. Yeah. <laughs>